Hi, my name's Danny and I'm a food blogger. My blog is called Food Urchin. I've been writing that for six years now. Today what I'm going to make are brioat. They originate from Morocco and the brilliant thing about these is that you can just run away with it. I mean a more traditional Moroccan approach would be with lamb, apricot, spices and things like that. Brilliant, brilliant for when you've got the family around, especially when you've got a lot of people around, so for a party or even a Friday night in front of the television. So we're going to start with an onion which I'm going to finely chop and gently fry in the pan. We're going to cook these down so they become nice and soft and even just begin to caramelise and that's going to give a nice level of flavour to the whole dish. And next we're going to chop up our chorizo. Doesn't matter if they're just slightly irregular, after all this is meant to be relaxed cooking. You notice I haven't put any oil in the pan because basically the, the oil from the chorizo is going to start to ooze out any second now. We don't need any, any more oil than we've already got. Okay, so that's the chorizo done. I'm going to leave that to cool down now and I'm going to get on with the rest of my ingredients. And we've got some chicken here, we've got some parsley, and we've got the manchego. You just really want to gauge for yourself how much you want to put in. So if you want to put lots of chicken in, put lots of chicken in. If you like chorizo, go mad for the chorizo. And don't forget, you can make this with anything. Right, I'm going to chop up my parsley now. I've picked the leaves, washed them, taken the stalks off. We're very nearly done with our filling now. The last element is the manchego. I want this quite loosely chopped into, into smallish pieces. Right, I'm happy with them chunks there, so I'm going to put them into the mix. Just some ground black pepper. All our ingredients are in the bowl now. So all that's left to do now is just to mix everything together so it's all incorporated nicely. Now before we get stuck into the fun part, which is with the pastry, we do need to clarify some butter. And I've got it on a low heat and I'm going to just slowly melt the butter. And what that's going to do is just bring all the impurities in the butter up to the surface. So then, we've got all our ingredients ready, the filling that is, okay, but now we're at the, 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 the fun part for me at the very least, where we get to assemble everything and make the actual parcels using the phyllo pastry. Take all the time in the world if you like to make your own phyllo pastry, but I'm using ready-made. Okay, so to get stuck in, what we need to do, is divide this into thirds. Now, normally these would roughly be about 30 centimetres across. So taking one of the strips that you've cut, one of your thirds, you want to just really apply a nice liberal amount of clarified butter. And what, what this is going to do is when you fold it up to make the brie away, the, the, the little parcel, the clarified butter will help to seal everything in. But most important of all, it's going to make it taste delicious because, well, let's face it, butter is delicious. Okay, now we've done that, we just need to put the stuffing in. I'd say a tablespoon in because really, you just don't want to overdo it and have it burst out all over the place. So take one corner of the strip, okay, and using your other fingers, just fold it over, okay? So don't worry if the pastry starts to break because you're going to fold it over again, okay? And you can see your little triangle appear in here, your little, that's going to make up the parcel. Fold it over to the right, okay? And this is where you're going to seal it, okay? Okay, now you've got the difficult part done. Next, all you have to do now is just roll it and roll it over again. When you come to the end, you're gonna have just a, a little bit of excess left over there. Apply even more butter, and then just fold it over, and that's going to stick it down. And there you've got your brie away ready to go. Just need to put just a bit more butter on there. This is gonna help crisp up the phyllo pastry. And what it helps to do as well is it helps to give the phyllo a lovely sheen as well. Now I've had my oven going at 200 degrees uh, Celsius or if you've got a fan oven I'd say 180 be okay. And these are going to take about six to eight minutes. They're that quick. So here we have it, my beautiful, wonderful chicken chorizo and manchego brie which are fantastically easy to make. You can put lots of different ingredients. You can really experiment with these and they're great to share with your family on a Friday night. 